So we are just starting off on a trek, and uh, it is, as Joel said, it's a two-kilometer trek, I guess. And देखते हैं इसी बहाने फिटनेस पता चल जाएगी कितनी है कितनी नहीं कितना पानी में Situated in the Ratanmal Hills of the Panchmal district is the Sloth Bear Sanctuary. Established as a wildlife sanctuary in 1982, Ratanmal is a triangular isle comprising of 11 tribal villages. The forest consists of a wide variety of flora and fauna with 190 species of trees, 230 species of herbs and It also serves as the biggest natural habitat of sloth bears in central India and hence the name sloth bear sanctuary. But sadly, many animal, plant and bird species of the forest have faced extinction or are now an endangered species. <laughs> मस्त पानी है रे ठीक है देख अरे पीस अपना बोल रहा हूँ नहीं गंदा है बहुत फ्रेश वाटर है ये इसको बंदर स्टाइल बोलते हैं इसको देख के देखो उल्टा मत हो जाएगा नहीं तो सांस में चला जाएगा मर जाएगा एक और बार एक और बार अभी अभी जस्ट मूव होया एंड पानी पिया फ्रॉम द फ्रेश वाटर दैट इज सो एंड सारी थकान मिट गई लाइक इट वॉज सो फ्रेश एक्वाफिना केनले बिस्लेरी वगैरह इट्स सब मोम आया है नीड एक्चुअल फ्रेश वाटर सो आई एम नॉट Like I'm not doing a campaign for race for rivers or anything, but it's just what I feel, and I'm talking to you guys about it. फाइनली वी रीच नर्दा वाटरफॉल चढ़ते चढ़ते फट गई बट हंड्रेड परसेंट वॉर्थ एट अभी तो जाएंगे विल गेट इन टू द वाटरफॉल एंड कूल आर सेल्स डाउन तो या So Joel, after completing the this trek, how do you feel? No words, no words to describe the beauty over here. हमारी मेहनत पानी में नहीं गई हाँ? मेहनत पानी में नहीं गई हम लोग पानी में जाएंगे 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 हम लोग पानी में जाएंगे
yeah <laughs> kind of you know the sound of a leopard or something that's why i immediately stopped over here just keep on watching behind you huh? yeah while walking keep your eyes behind you. because the speciality of leopard of hunting mm -hmm. is he hunts from the back and mostly he sits on the trees so just be careful when you are tracking in jungles and a high secured area so yeah let's move ahead Hey guys, uh, this, there's this one important tip that I need to give you about trekking. So, whenever you are trekking, that's the trekking downwards. That is, whenever you are climbing downwards, make sure that your that your foot is on a like it's it's not straight. It is it should be at an angle, not in the direction where you are moving. Because if it is in the direction that you are moving, there's a much 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 higher possibility that you might slip and fall down and the other thing is that you need to take support of something like a tree or a rock like a good rock with your hands whenever you are climbing up as well as climbing down So we finally reached the place, we are finally back to our original location and uh, yeah it was really fun, you might have even seen in the vlogs as well and uh, it's like I gave you some tips about trekking and since I didn't follow them what happened is that uh, the sole of my shoe just came off. It's like I'll just show you what happened. Look at this. It just came off. So, yeah, make sure you're following it uh, so that this doesn't happen. Even though you're kitne a good tracker, always put your foot like this and not like this. While returning back, although I had music with me, there was this constant thought going on in my mind. If Ratanmal could be so beautiful, then how beautiful would the other forests be? If a sanctuary can have so many species of plant life, 
how many unexplored plant species could be hidden in other parts of the world. And I was wondering, how big the impact of deforestation is on the forest life? And why is only the government being held responsible for it? And why can't the common man make a conscious effort 